Welcome to the Pompeii College of Business. My name is Brian Kench, and I'm Dean of the Pompeii College of Business. Uh, today, I'm going to share with you uh, several slides of our curriculum in the college, as well as some slides on our co-curricular activities that we regularly engage in in the Pompeii College of Business. On this uh, slide, I'd like to highlight uh, two items. First, that we are an AACSB accredited uh, College of Business. There are over 15,000 business programs around the world. Uh, fewer than 5% of them are accredited by AACSB. When you think of the best business schools, uh, and I hope you include us on that list, they're all accredited uh, by AACSB. In addition, the Pompeii College of Business is listed among the best business schools uh, on the US News and World Report. That's a separate ranking from the university, but the university is also ranked as one of the best universities uh, in the United States on US News and World Report. Uh, this slide is to introduce our core curriculum. There are many students that come into the College of Business and do not select a major, but whether you go that route or you come in with a specific major, all business students will begin uh, their core curriculum. This actually allows for a lot of flexibility. Even if you were to choose a particular major, you have the option in the first few semesters of switching to a different major that perhaps better aligns with your interest and you don't lose any time. I wanna highlight a couple of courses uh, on this uh, list, the first one and the last one. The first is Introduction to Business and Entrepreneurship. This is a required course. All business students take this course. It's also open to other students around the university. So we typically have a mix of uh, business students uh, and students from the other four colleges or schools participating in this class. It's unique in that it is taught by entrepreneurs primarily. Nearly 80% of the sections this fall were taught by entrepreneurs. And its key uh, outcome is the creation of a business plan. And that business plan is presented uh, to my uh, business advisory board at the end of the semester and what is known as the Pompeii Business Plan Expo. Uh, there are a lot of business schools uh, in the area and around the country, and very few of them actually require every business student know how to write a business plan. Uh, we do that. Uh, each student will, by the end of their first year at the University of New Haven, know how to write a business plan which we think is pretty special. Uh, in addition to learning how to write a business plan, you have the opportunity to participate in some of our entrepreneurship and innovation program activities. Entrepreneurship and innovation is a university-wide effort, uh, not just a college of business effort. Uh, and we have several key events that uh, we participate in over the course of the year. In the fall, as part of uh, the Introduction to Business and Entrepreneurship class, you'll participate in the 24-hour Innovation Sprint. Starts on a Friday, ends on a Saturday, uh, and there are winners uh, that, of, uh, of that tournament. We also have in the spring uh, a new venture pitch competition uh, where our students uh, compete over the a course of a few weeks uh, and have a final presentation in the culminating evening, there's $10,000 worth of seed money that is awarded to the top two teams, 6,000 for the winner, 4,000 for the second place winner. We've had several winners over the last uh, several years. Here uh, are two uh, that have won the competition in, uh, in 2020. In addition to the ability to provide seed money for your organization, your new business, your new venture, we have uh, something called on the spot, uh, more of a shark tank type situation where you'll actually compete for a top prize on, uh, on camera. This is a collaboration with our communications uh, department. My uh, board of advisors has also provided a substantial amount of funds uh, in the student startup fund that is available for students that are interested in starting their business. Uh, those plans are typically vetted by the board. Uh, and those that are uh, successfully uh, complete that vetting process have uh, capital that is available to them. I had mentioned on that initial slide of a series of core classes, the first class and the last class. The last class is the business capstone course. It's required of all business students typically taken in your senior year or your last year at the undergraduate level. Uh, and it involves what we call a shared life client experience. It's a consulting project that the students participate in, uh, in their capstone experience. And here on this slide are just uh, several examples of the companies that we have partnered with over the last few years. 
And what is happening here is each of these partners comes to the university and says they have a particular problem. The problem is then presented to the class. The class then works on that project in a competitive way, meaning there are teams formed and the teams are each working on the same business problem. Uh, and over the course of the semester, you work on that as your capstone course. And then you present your findings to the business leadership team at the end of the semester. And there's a nominal prize that is given to the usually the first place team and sometimes the second place team. And so what we're very proud of is that by the end of your time here as an undergraduate in the business program in the Pompeii College of Business, you will have done a live consulting project. You'll have written a business plan and you'll perhaps have the opportunity to compete uh, for substantial funds to start your own business. So the next series of slides are about the majors uh, and the options that you have. We do have an international business uh, degree program. Uh, it requires a study abroad and a foreign language competency. And we have focus areas in accounting, economics, finance, management, marketing, and sport management. Have a hospitality and tourism program. Uh, that major has several concentrations. You can come in as a general student and explore several classes that align with your interest. Uh, or you can concentrate in an event in tourism management or hotel and resort management. You know, the hospitality industry uh, has historically had uh, a lot of jobs. It's going through a, a bit of a time uh, with uh, COVID-19. But uh, recent uh, salary data uh, of casino managers, as an example, uh, which I posted on the left hand side of the slide, suggests that the general managers make over $200,000 a year. So it is a very lucrative business if you have the requisite skills in business management. And that's what we bring to the table here in the College of Business. You will learn about the hospitality industry, but from the management and business perspective. These are some of the clients that we have on the right-hand side. Students internship regularly at these uh, organizations in Connecticut and in Massachusetts, that area. We have a large number of uh, organizations that are resort and casino related, Foxwoods, Mohegan, uh, as well as MGM and Omni um, uh, in Boston, uh, as well as uh, um, uh, hotels and resorts in the area that hire our students. We do participate in the Walt Disney World internship. That is the most prestigious hospitality internship program uh, in the country. And many of our students have gone through uh, that program. Our marketing major in the College of Business uh, has a concentration in marketing analytics, or again, a sort of a general path through uh, the marketing uh, program. You can also minor in uh, marketing, marketing analytics, and professional sales. Uh, since this is the first time uh, these terms have come up on a slide, I'll differentiate. Within the degree program itself, you can have a select set of courses uh, that you focus in on, and that's called a concentration. If you are majoring in uh, hospitality or management and want to minor in marketing, uh, that's how you go about that. And there is a select set of courses uh, for that. The professional sales program is one of the uh, top professional sales programs in the country. We're uh, ranked in, as such uh, year after year by the Sales Education uh, Foundation. And on the right-hand side, again, these are our partners where our students have either done their internship or have been placed uh, over the last uh, several years. Finance is the next major I'd like to talk about. We do have a degree program in finance and a minor in finance. So again, if you wanted to major in accounting, perhaps you might minor in finance. On the left-hand side, uh, FactSet is a corporate partner of ours. Uh, we're a FactSet university. So all of our students from the very beginning of their time at the university will work with a FactSet in a database. Uh, it's comparable to Bloomberg. Uh, for those that might know uh, Bloomberg, uh, you'll, you'll work with FactSet in Introduction to Business and Entrepreneurship your first business finance class. And then if you continue on in the finance program, you'll use it uh, much more extensive. It's a very extensive partnership we have with FactSet and there are a lot of job opportunities with them. We're also a university affiliated program with the CFA Institute. Uh, so the CFA is an exam that one can take after graduation, but the curriculum in the College of Business prepares you to sit for that um, exam. We're also a global association of risk professionals partner. And again, our curriculum aligns with the, their exam so that you can sit for that exam post-graduation. Partners, internships, and job placement are on the right. These are re recent, so the big four firms, we typically uh, have uh, students employed there. So Deloitte, uh, PwC, uh, Ernst & Young, uh, 
Markham has been a partner of ours uh, that hires some of our finance students, Morgan Stanley, Chase, Stanley Black & Decker, UBS, Webster Bank, Raytheon, GE, and the Hartford to name just a few. Our sport management program. So you can major in sport management. We talked earlier about international business where you can have a concentration in sport management. Uh, you can also minor in sport management or sport communication or sport economics if you're majoring in a different degree program. Uh, sport Business, which is an organization that ranks our sport management programs around the world, has repeatedly ranked the sport management program here at the University of New Haven as one of the best. Uh, its recent rankings have come out in the last few weeks. So in the 2020 ranking, we are the best uh, sport management program in the state of Connecticut, second in New England, uh, and very highly rated uh, in the U.S. and around the world. Uh, these are two of our students that did their internship recently at MetLife Stadium. And just to put a few uh, symbols up on the right-hand side, the Mets, Major League Soccer, ESPN, Octagon, and the Bruins. But there are hundreds and hundreds of uh, relationships that the sport management the department has uh, for internships and such. And so please go into the breakout session uh, after this to learn more about sport management. One of our newer programs at the University of New Haven is eSports. Uh, we're very proud of this. There are a couple of different options. And again, I encourage you to go to the breakout session to learn more. There's a degree program within the business school. It has a sport um, eSports management concentration in the business management degree program. That's the only AACSB accredited eSport management program in the country. Um, and we were the first to do that. We also have a esports and gaming uh, degree program that is not part of the business curriculum, but uses a lot of business courses. Uh, concentrations in corruption and gambling, which is a Lee College uh, special specialization. Uh, game studies, which is a specialization out of the Arts and Science College. Esports performance and health, and again, that's a specialization out of the health sciences uh, school. We do have a new eSport uh, business MS degree program that is fully online. Again, that's the first online eSport business program in the world. Very proud of our partnerships. Uh, probably the most impressive uh, and well-known uh, company around eSports is Twitch. Uh, we have a Twitch partnership. HyperX provides prefer peripherals. And so we have a partnership with HyperX and we are building relationships where individuals from each of these organizations that are listed on the right-hand side uh, will actually teach some of our classes and certainly come in and provide case studies uh, in the classroom. Very proud of the stable. Uh, this is our laboratory uh, for our esports program. So all of our classes in esports are held in this uh, uh, stable uh, and the club meets in the stable. And of course the varsity esports team competes in the stable. This is part of our new state-of-the-art uh, Bergamy Center for Science and Technology. The accounting major. So we have a major in accounting, have a minor in accounting and a minor in uh, artificial intelligence and analytics. Uh, all students that join the accounting program in their first year will have an introduction to the profession course. It's a one credit course where we bring the partners to my Dean's Accounting Advisory Board in over the course of seven weeks and they talk to you about their firms and really are trying to get you lined up for an internship by the end of your sophomore year. We regularly provide with students consent their contact information to the firms and the firms actually in accounting recruit the students as opposed to many of the other majors where the students have to go find the firms. We've got strong relationships with uh, Deloitte, uh, KPMG, PwC, Ernst & Young, and Markham, who's highlighted in the photo below, the partner in charge of Markham New England is a graduate of the University of New Haven and is actually the chair of uh, the Dean's Accounting Task Force. We have internships and co-op relationships. As I mentioned, most of those uh, firms are paying $30 an hour. Uh, the internships typically are in the spring term during tax season. Uh, and you can have uh, the opportunity uh, to make uh, the equivalent of an annual salary of sixty thousand uh, dollars on a prorated basis. So if you work for four months out of the twelve, you can earn twenty thousand uh, dollars, which would substantially help uh, pay your tuition. We do have a co-op option that's available, so you will still be a registered student at the University of New Haven, but you can do up to nine hours uh, as a co-op student working at one of the firms. Um, and the growth rate for accountants have continued to increase year over year. 20% is the recent statistics, but with the changes in tax policy and government regulations, accountants are always in demand. 
business management. So business management is perhaps our largest degree program in the College of Business. We have a, a variety of concentrations that are available in business management. Uh, I'll start from the bottom, sport management. Uh, we've talked about this a couple of times. So you can do a concentration in international business in sport management. You can major in sport management. You can have a minor in sport management and you can get a degree in business management and have a concentration in sport management. So if you're interested in uh, leading an organization, really being able to understand and develop strategy and uh, a vision for an organization, uh, this is the type of degree program that you probably want to consider. It's very versatile. You can do a lot of different things with the business management degree. You can also then specialize in human resource management. There isn't a CEO in the country today that doesn't have their HR person sitting at the table with them, particularly as they're navigating uh, the impacts of COVID-19. So that's a remarkably good uh, concentration to choose. We've just talked about the eSport management on the prior slides. Again, this is the first eSport management program credited by AACSB in the country. It's a premier program, something that uh, we launched and had the first cohort in this fall, very popular. And newest uh, to the concentration list is the criminal justice. So the University of New Haven's Henry Lee College is uh, world famous, is perhaps the best criminal justice program in the world. Uh, and we have partnered with them to have a business management degree but have a specialization within the criminal justice uh, program. So you get the best of both worlds and there are a lot of job opportunities that uh, span the connection of business management uh, within the criminal justice field. So consider that uh, if you have some interest in criminal justice and business, uh, there are very few programs around the country, particularly in AACSB accredited colleges that have this combination of business management and criminal justice at the level of, uh, 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 that we have it here at the University of New Haven. Partners on the right-hand side, uh, JP Morgan, uh, Apple, Blue Cross, Blue Shield, Coca-Cola, Morgan Stanley, Verizon, Sikorsky, General Dynamics, uh, Avangrid, Yale New Haven Health. Uh, these are all organizations that are working with our classes as well as hiring interns and our students have been placed at each of these organizations over the last uh, few years. Business analytics. And so perhaps a core competency of this Pompeii College of Business is around business analytics. Uh, so there are uh, uh, a number of jobs that are available in business analytics. There's actually a gap between those that are uh, companies that need employers in the space and the students that have the skill set to meet that need. And when you have that situation in the labor market, the wages for students that have these business analytics skills uh, are rising over time. So we are the uh, one of the only STEM designated business analytics programs uh, in the country. We're very proud of being unique and different and a market leader in these uh, this space. Uh, we uh, have uh, four concentrations in uh, sport management again, uh, global supply chain analytics, marketing analytics, and the newest uh, of uh, the concentrations is managerial economics. In all of the concentrations and in the general option, what we're dealing with is, is a vast amount of data around the world. Uh, we're not creating the tools in business analytics, but we're applying them. How can you as an employee uh, take the data, synthesize the data, interpret it, and have real meaningful insights from that data that you can share with one level up with your management team? You're really the conduit between the data and the decision makers at the senior level. And if you have that skill set, you'll be influential in an organization. And frankly, that's why uh, the wages for business analysts are, are rising uh, over time. So our students have uh, done their internships or have been employed in this relatively new program at Viacom, Sikorsky, the Federal Reserve Bank, and New York United Webster Bank. Uh, it's an R shop, so the programming language that we use is R, and again, it is STEM certified. Uh, just speaking a little bit more about the STEM certification, we are one of the few MBA programs in the country that have a STEM certified MBA program. Our accounting program is one of eight uh, that have a STEM certification 
We have a STEM certification on our master's level business analytics program, our master's level finance program, and we're the only STEM designated sport management program in the country. Um, highlighting on the right hand side, a recent article from Poets and Quants that highlighted the University of New Haven as one of the uh, smaller programs around the country, but that are doing very interesting things and actually are market leader in STEM business programs. That's why we think we're, uh, it's a specialty of ours. Folks are typically interested in salaries. And so this is a recent salary snapshot. Then you can look at the major that you might be interested in. I'd like to say that, look, uh, money isn't everything, but it does pay the bills. And if you're interested in earning a wage right out of the gate, that is a uh, fairly good, the business program is the place for you. And so they typically range from the 50s to the 60,000. Notice that the business analytics uh, major is the highest uh, number on the list. We do have a very robust, what we call charger link powered by Academy. That's a matching program for our internship program. It's a sort of world-class program, very unique. Uh, we put a lot of emphasis on getting an internship while you're here at the University of New Haven's Pompeii College of Business. Another option for some of our students is to accelerate their time at the university. So to finish your undergraduate degree in three years and then complete your uh, in your fourth year uh, degree program. Typically it's the MBA, but the master's programs are also available. So you can get uh, with four years of tuition, you can get two degrees, that's unique. Uh, there are no charges required to uh, extra charges to make sure that you can get through that degree program. We have a four year map that you can look at. There does require some summer courses, but we don't charge you for those. If you're interested in the fast track program, really in one of the breakout sessions, talk to your uh, faculty member and they will give you more information about that. You have the option to visit Prado, you have preferred registration, you have preferred entry into the honors program, preferred entry into the living learning community. And we say that there's about a $35,000 wage premium uh, because what we've done with our recent analysis is looked at the starting wages of our undergraduates and then looked at the starting wages of our MBA students one year out. Uh, and the MBA students uh, earn about $35,000 more than the undergraduates. So there's an opportunity there. The past does not predict the future, but there's an opportunity when you have two degrees that you're gonna have uh, a wage premium uh, because you have those two degrees. And in addition, you don't need the fifth year of, uh, of education because you're condensing those two degrees into four years. Um, so uh, there is a GPA requirement and an SAT requirement for that. But again, more information can be provided uh, in one of the breakout sessions. So in summary, I'd just like to highlight our, what we believe is the return on investment for joining the Pompeii College of Business. Uh, so we know that you will work with your professors. They will get to know you. They will mentor you. They'll help you pursue your goals. And they really will make learning exciting. Uh, I've been Dean of the Pompeii College of Business since 2015. Every person that we've hired on the faculty side is an exceptional teacher. It's a number one job criteria. So we know that you're gonna have a very exciting learning experience. You will know how to write a business plan by the time you graduate. You will participate in one or more internships or co-ops. You will participate in a consulting project for a real business by the time you've graduated. You will have the opportunity to start your own business. And if uh, you've got a really neat idea and the board uh, supports you, you'll have seed money uh, to start that business. You'll have the opportunity to be mentored by not only the advisory board, but by the many, many alum of the College of Business. Uh, which of uh, we have about 23,000 Pompeii College of Business alum. There's a 96% likelihood that you will either have a job or be in graduate school one year out of your degree program here. You do have the opportunity uh, if you're interested in earning two degrees in a single year. And then, as I mentioned on the last slide, uh, that you could see a salary premium of uh, 35,000 one year out of your MBA. Uh, saving another uh, 25,000 or so on your MBA degree uh, and have a value of over $60,000. So we think uh, this is a really good opportunity. Uh, thank you for listening. I hope to see you uh, soon in a live session. Goodbye.